O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou wisdom from on high, order all things, far and nigh to us the path of knowledge and teach us in her ways <clears throat> and teach us in her ways to go rejoice rejoice emmanuel shall come to thee o israel O oh, come, thou holy Lord of might, who to thy tribes on Sinai's eyes hide, in ancient times did give the law, in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from our high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the Holy Churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the Venerable Presbyterate, the Deaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits, of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the servant of God, Mary, and for her blessed memory, and that her every transgression voluntary and involuntary be forgiven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That she may stand uncondemned before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, and that her soul be committed to the place of light and life, where all the saints and just repose, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious above all understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all beyond expression, look with compassion on us and on this holy church, O Master, and show us and those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. 
For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Sing praise to his name, give to him glorious praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. O only begotten yes, Son and, and Word of, of God, God, who being in mortal, deigned for Lord our salvation, to become incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and became man without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death. Being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior, O Son of God. Risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Wisdom be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ, O Son of God, risen from the dead. Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. O faithful, let us praise and adore the word eternal with the Father and the Spirit and born of the Virgin for our salvation. For he chose to ascend the cross in the flesh and to suffer death and to raise the dead by his glorious resurrection. Great are the accomplishments of faith. The three holy youths rejoice in the streams of fire as if in refreshing waters. And Daniel the prophet shepherd lions like sheep. Through their prayers, O Christ our God, save our soul. At that time, Mary registered in Bethlehem with the elder Joseph, who was the house of David. 
she had convinced without seed, she has conceived without seed and was with child, and her time to give birth had come. They found no room at the inn, but the cave became a pleasant palace for the queen. Christ is born to raise up the likeness that had fallen. <clears throat> Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Today the Virgin is coming to the cave to give birth to the eternal word in a manner beyond expression. Let the world dance when it hears the news with the angels and shepherds glorify the eternal God who chose to appear as a newborn child. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, Blessed are you and praiseworthy, O Lord, a God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name. Wisdom. Let us be attentive. Jacob went high, blessed each of the sons of Joseph, and worshipped God. 
leaning on the head of his staff. By faith, Joseph, near the end of his life, spoke of the exodus of the Israelites and gave instructions about him therein. By faith, Moses' parents hid him for three months after his birth, thereby disregarding the king's edict, because they saw he was a beautiful child. What more shall I recount? I have no time to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David and Samuel, and the prophets, who by faith conquered kingdoms, did what was just, obtained the promises. They broke the jaws of lions, put out raging signs, escaped the devouring sword. So weak they were made powerful, became strong in battle, and turned back foreign invaders. Women received back their dead through resurrection. Others were tortured and were not received deliverance in order to obtain a better resurrection. Still others endured mockery, scourging, even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned and sawed in two, put to death at sword's point. They went about garbed in the skins of sheep or goats, needy, afflicted, and tormented. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered about in deserts and on mountains. They dwelt in caves and in holes of the earth. Yet despite the fact that all these were approved because of their faith, they did not obtain what had been promised. God had made a better plan, a plan which included us. Without us, they were not to be made perfect. Peace with you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O God, we have heard with our own ears. Our fathers have told us the deed you did in their days. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. saved us from those who oppressed us and those who hated us put to you put to shame alleluia 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 wisdom let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel, peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. The family record of Jesus Christ, son of David, son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah was the father of Perez and Zerep, whose mother was Tamar. Perez was the father of his own. His own, the father of Ram. Ram, the father, was the father of Aminadab. Aminadab, the father of Nashon. Nashon, the father of Salmon. Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz was the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed was the father of Jesse. Jesse, the father of King David. David was the father of Solomon, whose mother has be, had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon was the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam, the father of Abiah, Abiah, the father of Asa. Asa was the father of Jeho, Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, the father of Joram. Joram, the father of 
Az Uziah, Uziah was the father of Joham, Joham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, Hezekiah was the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos, Amos the father of Joshua, Joshua became the father of Jeho, Jeho, Jehoniah and his brothers at the time of Babylonian exile, the exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jehoniah was the father of Shel, Shel, the El, Shel, the El, the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel was the father of Abiud. Abiud, the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azor. Azor was the father of Zadok. Zadok, the father of Achim, Achim, the father of Eliud. Eliud was the father of Eleazar. Eleazar, the father of Matan. Matan, the father of Jacob. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. It was of her that Jesus, who is called the Messiah, was born. Thus, the total member of generations is from Abraham to David. 14 generations from David to the Babylonian captivity, 14 generations from the Babylonian captivity to the Messiah, 14 generations. Now, this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the power of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Joseph, her husband, an upright man, unwilling to expose her to the law, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when suddenly the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream and said to him, Joseph, son of David, have no fear about taking Mary as your wife. It is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived this child. She is to have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this happened to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. The virgin shall be with child and give birth to a son, and they shall call him Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had directed him and received Mary into his home as his wife. He had no relations with her at any time before she bore a son, whom he named Jesus. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Slava Jesus Christ. Slava na veki. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Father. Today, evangelist Matthew <clears throat> begins his story about the salvation <clears throat> of the world by Jesus Christ with uh, genealogy. Abraham beget Isaac, Isaac beget Jacob, and so on until Joseph, the husband of Mary, the mother of Christ. Especially, you know, and especially in our time, in a time when all specifics are uh, leveled and for many people there is no difference where someone comes from and what traditions they live by. These lines should become the gospel of traditions and the importance of, of uh, family ties. Christ does not come from nowhere, 
to nowhere. Christ comes from heaven to a family that has very clearly uh, defined roots, traditions, and family ties. Christ comes to those who, from generation to generation, cherished the hope of his coming. To those who remember Abraham, a symbol of trust in God. To whom who remembered David, a symbol of the royal power given by God. Remembered <clears throat> Solomon as a wisdom, a wisdom of uh, a symbol of wisdom with which God generously gifted him. But they all had moments of weakness. Abraham, the father of faith, often did not trust God, fearing for his life. David was tempted to commit adultery and murder. And the end of Solomon's wisdom was his indifferent ecumenism with polytheism. Therefore, the family path of Christ's coming was not always flawless. And this is the real value of the gospel story. Christ does not abandon, abandon his family as it is with its positive and negative moments. He comes to this family as its fulfillment and completion to crown the hopes of all those mentioned in the, in the genealogy of righteous sinners. Today we heard about three generations, about three groups, three groups of uh, 14 generations, each of which represents a certain epoch in the history of salvation. Please the faithful to the fact that in Christ all these epochs should be fulfilled. And the number 14 in the biblical tradition is very closely associated with freedom. <clears throat> For 14 years, Jacob had to be a servant to his father-in-law in order to create his own family. In the 14th year, after 13 <clears throat> years of slavery, Joseph became second after Pharaoh in all of Egypt. And finally, on Nisan 14, Passover is celebrated. <clears throat> Liberation from Egyptian slavery. Three times 14 is an indication that in Christ, people are given not another, but final liberation. Liberation from the power of sin. Joseph, the husband of Mary, is through descendant of his fathers and forefathers. He experiences a moment of weakness when he learned about Mary pregnancy, but also shows the ultimate strength of faith in God and hope in Him when guided, guided by an angel, He accepts her and takes care of her until the end. The genealogy of the, uh, at the beginning of the Gospel once again indicates that what kind of family you belong to, what traditions you cherish and what God you profess and call upon for help are of great importance. This passage is about identity and has clear outlines of who is who and especially who we are. And even more, who we can become. 
And after all, our past life can be totally different from who we are now and who we can be tomorrow. And we can find many examples of such human changes in the Holy Gospel, where great sinners became saints. And this passage, of course, is not about comfort, about, but about the determination and self-sacrifice of not ideal, but real people who still make it possible for Christ to appear in the world. Very often, when we celebrate the Christmas holidays, or when we hear stories about Christmas, we are told about the baby Jesus, about some sentimental things. But in the Holy Scriptures, we will find rather words about the Messiah, the king from the house of David, and about the only son of God. The gospel shows show us that the God who will act through his son as Savior and Lord is consistent and will act as he has acted in the past. This line age of Christ show, shows us that Jesus did not burst into human history like a meteor. Christmas is not an accident, not an invention, but the mercy of God. And we will become witnesses of this mercy today. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray you, hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you, hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mercy. Again we pray for our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, and for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await our great and abundant mercy for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, you are merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God, Mary, and that her every transgression voluntary and involuntary be forgiven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God commit her soul to the place where the just repose. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
for the kingdom of heaven and for the remission of her sins. Let us beseech Christ, the immortal King and our God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and full flesh, who trampled that and broke the power of the devil and granted life to your world. Now grant rest the Lord the soul of your devoted servant Mary in the place of light, joy and peace, where there is no pain, sorrow nor mourning is a good and loving God, for your sin committed by her and worthy of thought the sins. There is no one who lives and does not sin. You will honor without sin your justice, eternal justice, and your word is truth. For you, Christ our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your devoted servant Mary. And we give glory to you with your eternal Father and your holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim. And sing the thrice holy hymn to the life creating Trinity. Now set aside all earthly cares. All Francis Pope of Rome, our most Reverend Metropolitan William, our God loving Bishop Kurt, the entire priestly diaconal monastic order, our government, and all in the service of our country, and the ever memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember his kingdom, all you Christians of the true faith, always. Now and ever and forever. Amen. That we may receive, receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by angels. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord God Almighty, who will honor holy and receive sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart 
Accept also the prayer of us sinners, bring us to your holy altar, enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifice for our sins, and for the people's failings, make us for his plans, favor in your sight, that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest on us on these gifts, here present, and on all your people. Grant this through the mercy of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life creating spirit now and ever and forever amen peace be to all and to your spirit let us love one another that with one mind we may prefer the father and the son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. And wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, God, the only only begotten, begotten, born of the the Father before all ages, ages, light from light, light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came he down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand right. Let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive to offer the holy and offering peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to It is proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship in every place of your dominion, for you are God ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet ever the same. You and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of no existence into being, and again raised us up when we had fallen and left nothing and down until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, 
Cherubim and seraphim, six winged, many eyes, soaring aloft on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and singing the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are filled with your glory, O Sanna, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Power, so loving and kind, Master and Sage. Holy are you, all holy you, and your only begotten Son in your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, and all holy and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf on the night he was betrayed, or rather, when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and old pure immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. I request it who shall suffer, suffer, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sin. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this saving command, and all that has come to pass on our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at his right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, pray to you, Moreover, you our Holy Spirit, God. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts lying before us, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. That for those who partake of them, they may bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, not the judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you the spiritual sacrifice for those Departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriots, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, as the Autochus and ever Virgin Mary. It is truly proper to glorify you, O Theotokos the ever-blessed, immaculate, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, mm -hmm. and beyond the compare more, more glorious than the seraphim, who a virgin gave birth to God the Word. You truly the Theotokos we magnify. Among the first Lord, remember our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt, 
Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years. As they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, Lord, this city in which we dwell in every city and community and the faithful living in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by sea, air, and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, Lord, those who bring offerings and perform good deeds in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor. And upon all of us, send down your mercies, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have come right to all the saints, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, that our God, who loves us all, may receive them on his holy heavenly and mystical altars and aroma of spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls, and for peace in the whole world, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian, painless, unashamed, peaceful end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Asking for unity and the faith, and for communion of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To you, O Master, who love us all, we commit our whole life and hope, and we implore, pray, and entreat you. Make us worthy to partake with the clear conscience of your heavenly and also mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you, now the judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you, Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, <clears throat> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be, be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread. bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. We give you thanks, invisible King, for by your immeasurable power, you have fashioned all things in the greatness of your mercy, have brought all things out of existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth for the good of all the path 
that lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel. Cure those who are sick of physical souls and body. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Amen. Body and precious blood with your mighty hand and through us, to all the people of God, most of the mercy of God, most of the mercy of God, most of the let us be attentive, holy gift to holy people. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the the Father. Amen. O oh Lord, I believe and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief, I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember <clears throat> me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also oh, believe and profess that this which I'm about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting, amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous ones. Praise from the upright is fitting. Alleluia. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Praise the Lord, the Lord is good. Sing to God's name. It is gracious. Alleluia. 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 Lord, your name 
Your name is forever. Your renown from age to age. Alleluia. 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 For the Lord defends his people, shows mercy to his servants. Alleluia. 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 Blessed from Zion be the Lord who dwells in Jerusalem. Alleluia. 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 Praise the Lord, the Lord who is so good. God's love endures forever. Alleluia. 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 Who alone has done great wonders. God's love endures forever. Alleluia. 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 Who gives food to all flesh. God love endures forever. Alleluia. 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 Praise the God, the God of heaven. God's love endures forever. Alleluia. 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 Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. Alleluia. 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 Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Alleluia. 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 Praise Him, the sun and the moon. Praise Him, shining stars. Alleluia. 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 Praise Him in highest heavens and the waters above the heavens. Alleluia. 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 Let them praise the name of the Lord. Gave a law which shall not pass away. Alleluia. 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 Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We 
have seen the true light, we have received the heavenly spirit, we have found the true faith, and we worship the undivided trinity, for the trinity has saved us. Blessed is our God always, now and ever and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory. For you have deemed us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Arise now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life creating awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthy thank the Lord. Lord have mercy. We thank you, Master. Benefactor of our souls, will our soul, that this day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries through the prayers and intercession of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. May it rain our path, confirm us all in fear of you, guard our life and safeguard our steps. For you are our sanctification and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of the Holy and Blessed Fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are the Holy of Holiness, the Savior of the martyrs. Mm, the boast of the righteous and the crown of those who have been pleasing to you from the beginning of time. Grant that we may remember all your saints and take part in their struggles. You allowed your holy athletes, the martyrs, to fight the good fight, to finish the race of right belief and to keep the faith they confessed grant us a part and an inheritance in imitating them then we may become worthy to share in the good things you have in store for them have mercy on us and be our helper through the prayers and intercession of the pure and holy mother of god of the holy and glorious Three children, Hananian, Azarian, and M Michelle, of the most blessed prophet Daniel, and of all your saints. After purifying us, make us worthy, be the working of your life creating spirit to venerate the feast of the birth of Christ our God. For to you is due all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now, now and, and forever. forever. Now, now and forever. forever. Now, now and forever. forever. Blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness always. 
now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of His most pure Mother, Petronius of this Holy Church, and of the Holy Glorious and the Lord of us, also for our Holy Father John Christos, the Bishop of Constantinople, and through the prayers of all the saints. For Christ is good and he loves us all. Ah, amen. In blessed repose grant to Lord eternal rest. Your departed servant Mary and remember her forever. Eternal memory. Glory be forever. Dear brothers and sisters, I would like to remind you today afternoon at 3 o'clock we will have Vespers with Divine Liturgy of Saint uh, Basil the Great. So it will be like Vigil, Christmas Vigil. This, uh, this similar like this, like this year we had back in 2017, seems to me, 2016, like seven or eight years ago. So now this liturgy we had, uh, Sunday liturgy, and not we call this Sunday, but in reality it's a Sunday before Christmas. But in reality we will have Christmas this night, uh, Christmas Eve this night. So I would like to invite you for service, what we will have at 3 o'clock the afternoon. And tomorrow, the rest of information you will find in the bulletin, tomorrow the Divine Liturgy birth of our Lord uh, Jesus Christ, Nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ, tomorrow liturgy at 8.30. Uh, and then Tuesday, Tuesday liturgy at 6 uh, afternoon. Um, also, I would like to thank once again to those who help with decoration in the church and who help before and after um, with carpet, before we put this new carpet and after. May God bless everyone. I wish, a good, I wish everyone a blessed and a good day. And I hope see you tomorrow, see you today afternoon. And we will sing the carols, ready couple hours. May God bless everyone, to all people here present and to all our parishioners, grant the Lord many blessed years. God grant us many years, God grant us many years, God grant us many blessed years. In health and happiness, in health and happiness, God grant us many blessed